All right, so we're going to see if we can get a slice of that new Android Pie. So here we go. We're going to jump onto our web browser and we're going to go to the Android Open Source project. You can type like Android Open Source Get Source or any of those tools and uh, or those items and get to where we need to get. So let's open up the Android Open Source project and we're going to talk about building Android Pie. Do keep in mind this video is just about how to build it. This is not a video about how to upgrade from Oreo to Pi or anything like that. This is just the basics. How do we build it? How does that look while we're building it? And uh, and hopefully this video will be helpful to those of you who are new at Android building. So we're going to click on uh, Setup. We're going to go to uh, Start. My internet's a little slow, so we have to be a little patient. Um, I guess we actually don't want to go to Start. We want to go to Download. Because we're going to have to download some, some code here. So look at the requirements. Make sure that you meet them. 64-bit environment is required, as said right here. Need at least 100 gigabytes of free space to check out the code and 150 gigabytes to build it. So we're looking at a need of 250 gigabytes to uh, build um, Android Pi. Uh, if you're running Linux virtual machine, you need at least 16 gigabytes of RAM or swap is what it says here. Um, I'd uh, argue that a little bit. You could probably do with a little less, especially if you um, use the make option with a JTAG for lower threads, but that's that's the recommendation. Uh, a few key packages that you need, that's all going to be installed when we do the regular uh, install of packages. Um, and then notice that uh, for Android 6 and up, they're still using Ubuntu 14.04. Uh, to build this. That's what I'm using right now is 14.04. Uh, there's some instructions here for uh, Macintosh if you have one of those. Uh, notice the Java development kit is going to be uh, OpenJDK 8 for Android Nugget and up. So uh, lots of good uh, requirements, things to be aware of there. So let's establish that build environment. And we're just following the instructions here to show really how uh, easy this is. Once again, I would want to point out that they are still using Ubuntu 14.04 and they regularly test on that machine. So you can use any machine you want. You can use Linux Mint, you can use Debian, you can use Ubuntu 18 or whatever. But keep in mind, they are using 14.04 for testing purposes and that's what I'm using here. So if you want a problem-free install, I recommend using 14.04. And we're going to download these um, packages per the instruction for uh, OpenJDK 8, which you have to do for Ubuntu 14.04. Now, in my previous video series, I mentioned some other ways that you could do this, but uh, we're going to follow the instructions here because I think that's just a good way to go. Um, it's going to take about 25 minutes for this to install on my machine. Hopefully your, your internet's a lot faster than mine. Um, while we're waiting, we're going to uh, run a few commands here. We're going to do the sudo apt get update just to get the latest list of packages. Type my super secret squirrel password here. And I'm not actually going to make you sit through this while this downloads because it's going to take a while for that. Uh, but I will stop the video and come back to it once we um, once we are ready to install those packages.